welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Well, continuing um, our VCF9 deployment guide, uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different um, that we've not seen on Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Um, we're going to use the VCF download tool, um, VCFDT. Um, it's a little bit confusing because, in fact, the download, in fact, um, is an OVA. Um, and the file name of um, the OVA is VCF-SDDC-Manager because the same appliance, because it's based on an OVA that we're going to deploy, uh, can become the SDDC manager. But um, we now have a single pane of glass to deploy everything that we need for VCF or VVF from one appliance. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to deploy this appliance. So the first thing you need to do, um, you have to, obviously you need an entitlement to download the SDDC manager um, at the Broadcom portal, uh, download the OVA and then um, follow this video. So I'm going to select the OVA that I've downloaded, uh, which is called uh, VCF-SDDC-Manager-Appliance-9. Zero 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 two four seven zero three seven four eight dot OVA, and as I actually said, file name's a little bit confusing because it actually says VCF dash SDDC. Um, all the documentation actually basically refers to the VCF installer, and uh, you go off trying to find the VCF installer. Uh, you click the link that says VCF installer, and you end up with an OVA which says SDDC manager, and I downloaded it twice and it confused me and it was only actually when i went back to documentation and looked to see that the ova that i was deploying matched the description of the vcf installer so let's just put that right because it's a little bit confusing i think they could have actually renamed the ova vcf installer that would have made it perfectly clear but it didn't it's called vcf sddc manager and of course we've seen the sddc manager before uh, in vcf 5.1 5.2 etc and four so i'm gonna i'm just gonna click next i'm gonna choose the data store uh now this could be hosted on i was gonna say anything um but realistically anything that can import an ova and and, and run it um, and in the documentation there are even references to using um vmware workstation so i suppose realistically if you had vmware workstation you had the ova um and from that you could deploy uh, vcf or vvf um, into your network anyway so i'm going to click next um i'm going to accept the agreement uh followed by next now this is the first time i've actually basically installed it directly on an esxi host using the html um, browser client um, normally i install it through vmware vcenter server so we'll see how we get on so disk provisioning thin power on automatically um, sometimes when i've actually installed ovas um, through esxi sometimes they don't pick up all the information that's required what i mean by that is is the networking etc uh so root password uh this is going to get really annoying with one password getting in the way there um now the username uh to log in to the sddc manager or the vcf installer tool um is admin at local um so this is the password that we're actually basically using here and um I did this before and it didn't actually basically like the password that I was entering. So it'd be interesting to see here whether or not that I get the same issues or not. Uh, host name. So we're going to go for uh, VCFDT, uh, VCF 
deployment tool. What did I call it in the? Um, I actually, I've already created an FQDN for this. So I actually basically did call it. Um, I just copy and paste that there. Save a bit of typing. Yeah, VCF deployment two. So I've called it vcfdt.sars-consultants.co.uk. Uh, NTP servers that we've got. They look okay. 142, yep. Networking configuration, uh, IP address one. So I've reserved an IP address for this static IP address. Uh, and doesn't have to have um that's the dns then that's the dns search path in fact it's asking for a domain host name there not a fully qualified domain um it does it's easier if you've got internet access as i'll show you in a minute um but don't worry if you don't have internet access, um, then you can sort of kind of work offline and populate what's required uh, without. So that looks about right. So I'm going to click next. Um, guest name, unknown, thin, um, properties. So I'm going to click finish. And let's actually basis that's starting to. Um, I was actually looking for an espresso um, or a drink here, um, and I've not got one. Um, so what I'm probably going to do, uh, I don't think this is going to take very long, to be honest with you. Uh, so I already know roughly um, what this is doing and where I can actually break to go and get a drink and a Pepsi Max. So I'll wait for this to complete. Uh, but I was saying this is something uh, new, um, single pane of glass, uh, which is going to allow us to deploy uh, VCF uh, or deploy VVF. Now, there have been some changes. If you watch the last couple of videos um, where we installed ESXi 9, where we installed VMware vCenter 7 9, um, and VCFDT um, will actually install vmware vcenter server it won't install esxi so you're still going to have to plan and install and get your host ready but once you've actually basically got your host ready then basically you can let uh, vcfdt um, do all the heavy lifting for you but one of the things that um, is significantly different about esxi 9 and vmware vcenter server 9 um, and you may have noticed this when we went looking around for licensing in ESXi 9 and there wasn't any um, licensing option to license that. I paste a license key into it. Similar thing to VMware vCenter Server. Um, you will need um, another function in the VCF suite of applications and that's VCF operations to be able basically to get your licenses um, onto um, your ESXi hosts um, and your vCenter server hosts. So um, that's powered power on. So that appliance has powered on. Uh, and it's actually basically currently sitting at the VCFDT login. So I'm hoping now that I can get a bit of ping action on that. Um, so let's just do ping BCFDT. Okay, we got a bit of ping action. Um, so I should be able to go to a browser HTML type session. So let's just try this. BCFDT dash Cyrus dash consultants dot co dot uk. Thinking about it, it could be initializing. So I'll tell you what we'll do. 
I'll put this on pause. Gives me an opportunity to go and grab and bring back an espresso and uh, a Pepsi Max. Um, that's not responding. So maybe we're still initializing at present. Hey, back. Still not gone for me espresso yet. Um, I've been um, fettling. Okay, so we've got some sort of browser action going on. Um, need to replace this certificate, really. These annoy me. Uh, anyway, so proceed. Um, okay, so we've got a, um, a lovely background, um, which is um, similar of the the background on um, VMware vCenter Server 9. Um, so this is obviously a, a theme. Uh, with BCF nine, uh, this is the the graphic that uh, I think I've seen across um, all the articles and uh, marketing that's gone on so far. Anyway, so admin at local, as I said, um, not vSphere local, it's admin at local, and we're going to click login. Uh, okay, so we've got a VMware Cloud Foundation uh, installer. Um, we're we're logged in. Uh, we've got no depot connection currently set up. Um, so. This is your own depot connection for your site where you are going to deploy VVF or VCF. Um, so the first thing we need to do is to click depot settings and binary management. And we need to configure the online uh, depot. So I'm going to click configure and you will need um, your download token that you generate on the Broadcom portal. So again, if you've got no site ID, if you've got no contract, if you've got no agreement, um, then you will not have access to be able to basically create the download token and you will not be able to go any further. Um, so I'm just going to paste the download token. Um, so I'm just going to pause this. OK, so that's now done. Um, and as you will start to see. Um, We've got options for VMware Cloud Foundation. And we've got options for VMware vSphere Foundation. Um, obviously, the requirements for um, VMware vSphere Foundation are obviously VMware vCenter Server. Uh, VMware Cloud Foundation Operations, as I mentioned before, this is what's going to do your licensing now. And SDDC Manager, uh, which effectively really is VMware Cloud Foundation Installer, which can become SDDC Manager, as we spoke about at the beginning. Um, VMware Cloud Foundation, of course, um, it's got a few more bits and bobs in it, of course. Um, it's got NSX, which is probably the biggest piece. Uh, operations Fleet Management, Operations Collector, Operations and Automation as well. Now, I have actually found that if you, um, you know, if you just basically select VMware Cloud Foundation, and uh, select, do download, then it's going to download everything for um, VMware uh, vSphere Foundation as well. Um, so with that, I'm just going to click the download button um, and it's going to sit there and it's going to go off and it's going to, it says schedule, scheduled. Uh, there it goes. And it's going to sit there and download, what are we looking at? Um, uh 21 gig two gig so where are we at we're about 23 gig 25 gig 27 gig uh 27 uh 27 uh 37 37 38 38 and a half um 50 gig so we're looking at a 50 gig download um, so that shouldn't really take very long, really, on the uh, on the link here. Um, and that's it. Um, that really is um, all there is to it in using the VMware Cloud Foundation um, installer. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put this on pause. I don't think there's any point really of actually speeding this up in post. Um, I'm going to bob off and I'm going to go and grab that coffee. Uh, I'm going to grab that Pepsi Max and then I'm going to come back. And then we'll summarize at the end and uh, and we'll finish this video. So I'm just going to put this on pause. And sometime later, we're completed. Uh, lots of green success uh, for uh, VMware Cloud Foundation. 
and VMware vSphere Foundation. So that's it in this video uh, as to how we deploy um, the VMware Cloud Foundation Installer VA. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. And if you don't like it, then give me a thumbs down and tell me why you don't like it. Um, any questions about VVF or VCF, then drop them under the description there and that we can have a discussion about them uh, or drop them in the post uh, that I'll make about this particular video um, on release. Um, so again, thanks so much for watching another uh, video in the uh, Hancock's Half Hour, uh, the Hancock's VMware Half Hour series. Um, my name is Andrew Hancock. Um, so uh, good afternoon and uh, and goodbye and see you again in the uh, the next video uh, for our vcf uh, 9 deployment bye bye